Hey guys, welcome back to Brownville today. I am teaching you how to make delicious tempeh bacon. Here are the steps so you can wrap your head around the process and then we're getting into it. The first step is to slice up your tempeh into thin strips. We're gonna steam those for 10 minutes in a steamer basket. Then we're gonna fry those up in a pan until they're nice and golden. And we're gonna add a little marinade of some soy sauce, liquid smoke, and maple syrup so that that gets nice and flavorful. We blot off the excess and we're ready to use in any recipe. I have a block of tempeh here and we're gonna slice up the little pieces of bacon that we're gonna make. Let's whisk together all those seasonings that are going to go into our bacon. So here, the main ingredient is of course that smoky flavor, so we need something called liquid smoke. And we're gonna add some to a bowl. A little goes a long way here, it's really powerful. We're also adding some soy sauce. And of course, some maple syrup. We need a little sweetness and that's gonna help caramelize everything in the pan. We're going to add some water to a pot and we're gonna bring that to a boil and place a steamer basket on top. We're gonna to add our tempeh strips and we are going to steam these for 10 minutes. Steaming tempeh is really important because it helps um, release some of those kind of bitter flavors because this is a fermented product. Once you have steamed your tempeh strips, we're going to fry them up in a pan. So we're going to heat it at about medium heat and we're gonna add some high heat oil. This could be canola, safflower, sunflower, even coconut oil if you'd like. And we're gonna add some, we're gonna reserve some for our second batch. Most likely you're gonna need to make two batches. Now of course, the more oil you add, the crispier these will be. So just play around with whatever you prefer. If you want to use minimal oil, these are just gonna be a little bit softer and not as crispy on the edges. Once you see they're getting nice and golden and this happens fast, you just flip. And once it's golden on both sides, we're gonna start removing those and adding the rest. It's very important to get them all golden before we add them all back in and add the seasoning that we prepared with the liquid smoke. Remember that after you are starting to add that second batch, you might need to add a little bit more of that oil to the pan if it seems too dry. Once all of them are nice and golden, we're gonna add them back into the pan. These are so crispy and delicious. All right, so they're all back in the pan. Let's make the magic happen. Let's add that beautiful seasoning and we're gonna toss and move these around quickly. Don't these look amazing? The smell is so smoky, so delicious. Now the idea is not to remove them immediately either. So you really do want all of those liquids to kind of evaporate and penetrate the tempeh bacon because we also want this to get crispy once again. So you do want to let that all absorb and that's why we need to flip frequently because it can burn once it's right there on that pan without any liquid. Once you see that it's ready and for example, this one is nice and crispy, we're gonna add it on a plate lined with some paper towels. This is delicious. You can now use it to make our tempeh bacon BLTs. You can use this on top of salads for breakfast. The sky is the limit. Thank you so much for cooking with me today and I'll see you again really soon with more at Bromble.